Hello! Today we're going to be talking about the Zumel Z8 Dobsonian. This is actually a really nice Dob. I compare this to what a lot of people consider the standard, which is the Orion X-T8. And it's also a good comparison because the Orion X-T8 and this are the exact same price. Today, $389. This one has some serious advantages. For example, I keep spinning it because this has ball bearings. It's smooth as can be, which makes it really easy to track things in the middle of the night when you can't really see what's going on. It, it's real tough to adjust anything. It just glides. The next thing I really like is the tension on the side. You screw these in to increase or decrease the tension making this extremely easy. You can adjust one side reasonably tight and then use the other to fine tune it as you're going. You also twist it a little more and you can lock it in place so that if you need to change an eyepiece it doesn't move as much. Now the Zumel comes with a two-speed Crayford focuser which is also a nice upgrade over the Orion. It's also a two-inch focuser so that you can put your two inch eyepieces in there for a really wide field of view if you, or if you have very expensive eyepieces or you can use inch and a quarter with the included adapter. Speaking of included things, it comes with a two inch 30 millimeter wide field of view uh, eyepiece. This is actually a really nice eyepiece. It's really easy to hold on to in the middle of the night, even when you're wearing gloves and it's cold out. The other one is a nine millimeter puzzle. I can't really say a whole lot good about this. It's a little bit too much power under most seeing conditions, at least where I am. And it's just kind of a cheap eyepiece, but that's okay. The 30 millimeter two inch that comes with it is awesome for open clusters. So even if you do need to buy another decent little eyepiece, say something in the 15 millimeter range, that's okay. I don't have a problem with that. The finder scope of this thing is also a nice little upgrade. For my Orion X-T8 it came with a little red dot finder. I got a problem with a red dot finder on a Dobsonian. When you use it, you're going to be way down like this in some convoluted angle. It's not like on a refractor. So they, uh, Zumel gives you this little guy right here, which is really nice. It is an 8 by 50 finder scope, which means it's very bright and can really help you find things. It's in a very solid bracket and of course it's easy enough to remove. This is a standard bracket, so if you don't like the 8 by 50 and you want to put a red dot on it, just loosen the screw, slide this off, slide the next one on, go to town. The, the base is extremely heavy on this. And I don't mean extremely heavy as in to carry out to your car. It is slightly heavier than the Orion, but the center of gravity is very low, and I like that. I think that's because you've got the bearings down low. It makes it very, very stable. It's also got a very comfortable handle down here at the bottom that allows you to pick the base up and... Uh, move it wherever you need to. Now if I've got a complaint about this, it is because this thing has so much heavy equipment on it that when you pull it out of the base and move it, it gets a little awkward. So you loosen up both sides and then you lift and go. Now the problem you have with that is the little deals on the side rotate when you do. So when you set it back in, it never goes back in just right. That's okay. A little bit of adjustment on the sides. And it slides into place and then you can attach the tensioners. Now, these tensioners actually have a scale on them and you can adjust them up or down depending on how much weight you plan on putting where on this scope. That's another nice little um, thing that somebody thought of that just makes life really nice. If you're going to put a whole lot of weight on one end, you can slide this all the way to the end, attach it, and then tighten it down and you're good to go. Now, another nice little thing on this scope as I turn it around, you notice it has what appears to be an 80 millimeter fan 
that is battery powered right here in the base. Now it's got an attachment where you can attach the battery pack and you can probably get an AC adapter as well. It's got um, nifty little adjustment screws down in the bottom so that you can adjust the collimation of the scope. And speaking of adjusting the collimation, another nice little thing they send with this thing is a very nice laser collimator. One of these, $60 to $80 easy, and it comes with this kit for the same price as the Orion, which doesn't come with one of these. So, if you haven't guessed, I really like this. If you're in the market for an 8 inch daub, which is a really nice starter scope, it's a really good sweet spot, it'll fit in pretty much anything. I know my wife and I drive, both drive Mini Coopers, no problem with this. This is a great one to get. If you do decide to get it, please use the link down below as it helps me out a little bit. That's it. Have a great day.